Erna Bees. Hi, Erna Bees. So we are at the Dragon Boat Festival, the first one in three almost years. three years. And uh, it's, the weather is... Whoops. Overcast. Overcast. We just <laughs> had a, our rainiest day in the history, in 30 year history on Thursday. And uh, today is looking a little iffy. Our women's team is getting ready to race. We're going to walk out and watch them. But we're here. We're ready. They found a, a little a little girl shirt to fit me into. It took f four people to get me into it. I think it's kind of like uh, the pants that Olivia Newton-John wore in Greece, where they kind of sewed her into it. But uh, we're here. We're getting ready to go. And uh, Sandy will be filming, and there'll be more video later yes. today. So stay tuned. Okay. Bye, guys. Bailey doesn't really know what to do with herself. Uh, the women, our women's team won their first race and they won their second race. Yay! I should have been on those boats. <sighs> Sad face. <clears throat> um, George's team, the mixed team, they won their first race and they're about to go out on their second race. So let's hope for the best.
left. <laughs> Hi, Yernabees. I got Sandy there. I told her, don't laugh. So, of course, she started laughing. So, we're back from the Dragon Boat races. The first time in almost three years that uh, that we're back Dragon Boating. Mm -hmm. And look. Ta-da. Silver medal. So we finished uh, second overall in the elite, most elite division. I didn't. He which did. is the Platinum A division. So I have to admit I'm quite surprised because um, I've been practicing with this team. There's a lot of new people on the team uh, that are just learning how to race. And um, mm -hmm. we were racing a lot of very well-established, experienced teams. So I did not really expect us to even be really competitive with all the top teams so to finish um in the top division i thought we'd finish in the lowest division and hopefully contend for a medal there that that was my my prediction and my hope and um we actually after the first race we had the best overall time out of anybody yeah. which shocked the heck out of me and after the second race it was the same but in the third race uh we discovered that the, <laughs> the real top team so the top team is is the Canadian Navy team. So you're talking about, you know, some very yeah. fit, very experienced armed forces, uh, you know. And that's just the girls. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. They were notorious for the women always doing one-handed push-ups in, yeah. the, in the war. And when you're going in the marshalling area and stuff, they'd scare the crap out of you. And yeah. when you're standing there ready to go, they've got all these crazy-ass uh, Navy songs and Navy chants. Oh, yeah. and. Um, it's very intimidating for people that aren't used to it. So yeah. um, one of the things they do is they'll often kind of, uh, we call it sandbagging, but they'll they'll try, but not all the way, like just enough to get through the competition until they get into the final race. And then all of a sudden, they put their best bunch on there and they just beat the crap out of you. <laughs> so like we, in our first race, we actually had a, four second better time than them, which is a huge margin yeah. in Dragon Boat. These races are, uh, our best time today was one minute and 28 seconds for 350 meters. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we were good. better than them all day. Then all of a sudden in the final, mm -hmm. when it's medal time and money time, uh, they mm -hmm. blow us out by like eight seconds. But so you did come in second. We came so, in second. Um, you know. So, yeah. So I cannot tell you how glad I am to be back doing this. Like uh, me not too. paddling would be like Sandy not crocheting. Yeah. Um, you know, that's the best comparison. If I took the hook out of her hand and said no more crochet for three years, she would be, you know, <laughs> in probably, you know, she'd be in, in a straight jacket like this in the... I can't go a day In the mental hospital. Crocheting. So that's me um, when it comes to... Yeah. Um, paddling or, or, or finding some kind of competitive outlet. I've, I've got this, like I've tried to explain to Sandy. It's like I'm the, I've got the incredible Hulk inside oh. fighting to get out. And it's just this competitive drive that when it's used for good, um, is the kind of thing that keep, keeps me working, keeps me going, makes me motivated, gets me up, keeps gets me, calm. gets me going. But oh. when I don't have a way to feed this monster, <laughs> I just am a raging, well, not raging, but I'm just a... Uh, he's a raging. No, he's, I'm just a crazy person. I'm driving like, Sandy. I'm pacing like a tiger back and forth. I'm just oh, like... Oh, mm, man. Mm, he's... Amped up, amped up, amped up. I've never so, seen him um, so, like, riled up as I have in the last couple of months. Well, you know? I mean, we were almost three years without racing because of yeah. the pandemic. And then, so when uh, we knew that, you know we were going to be racing this year. We were so excited. And then one week before our first practice, we get an email from our team saying the team has folded. Sorry. Yeah. And it's like, wow. So I spent the better part of three months trying to find a team. And um, we are significant. A lot of teams have folded. A lot of yeah. people have kind of wandered off. It's like any other ac recreational activity where we had, you know, COVID protocols and it was all shut down. I mean, people... People don't tend to wait around. They go find yeah. something else to do. They disappear. It's like there a crowd. Like half there was like half the teams. Oh, not even. Today. We had a total yeah. of uh, thirteen <laughs> mixed teams, and they were they were ready for up to forty, but only thirteen actually yeah. showed up. So, so people disappear. Yeah. It's like at the craft fair where they go to the round yeah. round place. <laughs> so we're at a craft fair, and people look at our stuff and go, "This is really nice," but we're just going to go round. Well, wherever round is, they never come back. <laughs> yeah. It's like the Twilight Zone. They're like, ah, I'm in the round. 
round. Yeah. Anyway, so that's we always laugh when they say they're going round. We look at each other like, oh, they're gone. Yeah. You know, they're going to disappear and there'll be a police report later. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was weird. See, well, number one, it was weird for me because I I was sitting. I wasn't on the boat. So it, I was just like, I she don't know. She was an athletic the, supporter. I, I, I felt weird. I, I felt like I should have a paddle in my hand and I should be going out there with them. But um, yeah. but it was weird because there just was not the amount of people there that there usually is. Like the hum like it, around the Paddler's Village is insane when there's all the paddlers there. It was so quiet today. Yeah. I yeah. was just like, what? The energy was weird. Well, everybody was, you know? the people that were there were obviously very happy to be yeah. back at it. But you are looking around noticing yeah. a lot of teams that you know yeah. are not there and, and maybe no more. Teams and you're you looking at even the against. teams that you do know and you're thinking, wow, that's a totally yeah. different group of people. Or Well, the or, team you're on. Yeah. Totally different people. The team that I was on was only formed just before the pandemic. They had two seasons. Yeah. They're a brand new mixed team. And then they had two seasons and then gone for three years. Mm -hmm. And then now back again. And we only had, uh, ideally when you have a mixed team, you want the ratio supposed to be 10 men and 10 women. Yeah. Well, our team only had seven men. Yeah. And we we borrowed a couple to get seven. We normally only have five men. So... Yeah. Uh, just as a joke, we put in our team name in is not enough men. Yeah. <laughs> the NPC, not enough men. But um, yeah. And then like even our women, we have some amazing women paddlers, but they were paddling in the women's competition and the mixed competition. Yeah. So quite a few of our women paddled in like six races today instead of three. Yeah. And uh, the one race we had, they literally had just finished their race. And they weren't even off the boat and we had to jump on the boat and go right back out again with no break, no rest, no nothing. Yeah. And race right away and again. And still won. And we won that race and that was probably our best overall performance of the day. Yeah. They were and, all um, geared up. <laughs> you know, well, it was, it was also a very windy day. Oh, um, can you tell? Uh, yeah, very wavy day. Look at like this. Um, burnt. Like we had several, um, you know, waves come over the side of the boat when you're paddling and stuff. Yeah. And, you know... It takes a bit to keep your concentration and you just keep going no matter what happens. But when stuff is coming on <laughs> you this way, it's, it's, you know. I remember the first season that I ever paddled. We, we were paddling in Nanaimo at here. And here, the weather is just crazy yeah, when you're yeah. on the boat. We're in the open ocean here. Yeah. So and there's not a lot of protection. If the when, wind is blowing, oh, you get big waves. When you waves. get waves, you get waves. So you get teams that come from oh. places where they paddle on a lake. Or, you know, uh, in Victoria where they paddle, it's a place called the Gorge Waterway, which is an inland. It's almost like a fjord or an inlet where they get nothing there. It could be yeah. blowing 100 miles an hour and the waves will be this big. It's yeah. nothing, right? Not like here. So you come to Nanaimo and it's... It's like... You get waves, <laughs> you know, get four or five foot waves. And, oh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah you, you get a lap full of water and it's like cold. It's nothing <laughs> it's, like uh, anywhere else on oh, the circuit. No. I think when the weather's bad here, it's... Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, actually have paddle. had festivals where they... <laughs> where um, the one year we, we raced in the morning... And then the wind came up so bad they had to cancel all mm -hmm. of the races for that afternoon. And it's a two-day yeah. festival. So yeah. the way that it works in your your first race is basically just to get you going and kind of figure out what um, group you're in. It goes by time and then you get put at whatever tier uh, that time would suggest. The second race uh, gets you into, um, it's it, it moves you even more into where you should be. And then on Sunday, the first race normally will put you in either the A or B side of the division that you've made yourself earn yeah. on the Saturday. And then the final race is if you're on the A division, you're racing for medals. If you're on the B division, you get nothing. Yeah. So nobody ever wants to be on the B division of whatever the levels are. Mm -hmm. But because they canceled all of that afternoon, if you started out with a crappy first race, which is not unusual when you're up at six and seven in the morning, and if you're one of the first people out there, you're, only, you're kind of half asleep and then you, don't, you have a subpar performance, you can make it up in the afternoon. But because there were no races, teams that normally would be seated very high ended down in some pretty low divisions. And we had some 
uh, crazy. Like the one race, the team won by almost half the course in the final because they shouldn't have been in there. But uh, anyway, it's all part of the craziness. If they have dragon boating in your area, I would strongly urge you to uh, to look into it because it's a lot of fun. It's fantastic exercise. Mm -hmm. um, if you just want to get out and meet people and paddle and enjoy being outside and not be too competitive, there's a team probably for you. And if you are a competitive bastard like me, um, <laughs> you can find a team that you, where you really want to race and win and yeah. and be able to stand there with your medal and look cool in the cause chicks, you know, <laughs> big guys with the medals in the beer garden. So that's how I met Sandy. I walked up to her and said, oh, hey. You, yeah, right. <laughs> My name's George. Look, look, look what I got. Yeah, right. I got, said, do you want to see what I got? And she said, what? I went, I don't think that's what she was thinking. But anyway. Um, oh, my goodness. And that's okay. actually a gold medal, by the way. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going. <laughs> I all think right. we got too much sun. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're all pretty burnt and uh yeah. We're feeling feeling the effects of a long day, so. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, I hope you enjoy the videos uh of the racing and just in case you guys uh the new people on my channel. Hello. Hello. Um it, I've talked about our dragon boat racing for the last three years. So it's all part of the whole crochet universe. Yeah, this so, is not the first time we've yeah, talked. People know we do this. Yeah. So yeah. for the new people that don't know, I wanted to include some video footage so that you kind of get an idea of what we're talking about. And Sandy was crocheting the whole time we were there. So it's still kind of a crochet thing. <laughs> well, I, I crocheted. There's a lot of sitting bit. around. So when yeah. you're sitting around, it gives you a chance to. Yeah. Well, yeah. I we took the dog too. We took Bailey with us. She had a great time. And she's just like. <gasps> yeah. Now she's just passed out. <laughs> she's, she's exhausted. So, um, but anyways, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I guess we will talk to you soon. Don't forget, we have a whole bunch of cool stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks. And uh, don't forget to buy your raffle tickets. Yeah, well, I'll talk about that. Oh, oh is video. that a surprise? No, oh. I'll talk about that in another uh, video. But I think the raffles will go, guys. Because one of the boxes has like a hidden ruby in it or something, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. nice try, though. Or was it an ounce of gold? No, I don't oh. think so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'll stuff him in a box and send no. it out to you guys. No. <laughs> but you, you you can't have my silver because no. it's, it's mine. I like the other side. The other side's oh, pretty. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'll give you guys a bit of a close-up. So this is the one side. It says uh, Comox uh, Dragon Boat Festival. And then this is the other side. FGPC is the organizing group that organizes the island uh, races. That stands for Fairway Gorge Paddling Club. They're out of Victoria. And they do all of the... Um, the timing, the officiating, the yeah. uh, everything. They run the whole show there. So Yeah. So, okay, maybe one day I'll show you guys all of our medals. That would be fun. There's lots. There's even there's more lots. than all this yarn back here. There's yeah, lots. There's a lot. Lot. Well, Sandy's got so, lots. Yeah. No, you've got more than I do. So, so you well, started way many Kind of two sides. Days. There's Sandy's side and George's side. And yeah. Sandy's and George. You know, That's but. the way with everything with us. Not really. <laughs> Anyway, okay, guys, I love you, and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.